it's day six at the Toronto Film Festival and there's still boatloads of people flooding into town and tons of movies trying to make a splash. First off the jetty, great expectations. Who are you? You acted. No, and I've never forgot it. I cannot renew our acquaintance. My life has changed since then. Great Expectations is the 21st adaptation of Dickens' novel for the screen. It's not hard to see why. It's a book constructed to milk tension and amp up action, to keep you gripped week after week. If it failed, Dickens wouldn't get paid. So it's really quite astonishing just how comprehensively Mike Newell has managed to flatline the cliffhangers. It's even more remarkable how boring the film is given the calibre of the cast. Helena Bonham Carter, playing Miss Havisham, actually looks slightly less batty than she does usually. Rafe finds his magwitch is authentically gamey and jowly, but he struggles against Jeremy Irvin's pretty boy foil. This is boulderized York Notes Dickens. No blood, no guts, just bones. It's nothing but a stupid labouring boy. What do you think of her? I think she's very pretty. Very proud. You can break his heart. There's a whole library full of classic novels being refloated at Toronto this year. Next up, what Maisie knew, a modern take on Henry James's book. Margo is there. Wait a minute, the Margo who was at our house? My father married my nanny, so Court made my mommy get married too. The kid is the only one who's all right in What Maisie Knew, starring Julianne Moore as her flighty rock star mum, Steve Coogan as her feckless art dealer dad. Both are selfish and immature, screaming and scrapping their way through a messy divorce. Maisie is the bargaining chip shuffled between them, until she decides she doesn't want to play anymore. Directors Scott McGee and David Siegel pitch their film perfectly. It's neither chirpy nor melodramatic, but it does capture the key emotion that kids like Maisie feel when caught between two warring parties. Utter confusion. What's funny? You are. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> but it's not all GCSE set texts. Frances Ha is a new film about a hapless dancer flat hopping her way around New York. Greta Gerwig is Frances, dappy, happy, charming, infuriating. I'm not a real person yet, she says, and she's right. Frances is unformed, and Gerwig does a great job of suggesting nascent maturity buried behind surface skittishness. Such subtlety is slightly undermined by Baumbach's smitten shooting style. Frances' life passes in glorious monochrome, perkily edited, perfectly composed, half woody, half mumblecore, always lovely. And yes, they're still coming. Join us tomorrow for more from the Toronto Film Festival.